Alright folks, in this clip I'm going to teach you how to draw anime faces. And I can tell you right off the bat, it is all in the eyes. If you want to learn how to draw anime, start there. I'm going to start by showing you how to draw a girl's eyes as opposed to a guy's. They seem to have a little bit bigger eyes. And here's what you do. First you draw the outer edge of the eye, the, uh, the iris I guess you could say. And one thing you're going to really do is you're going to leave a clear... Uh, bit of definition for what would be the inner glow. See that little uh, inside um, circle I drew there that was lighter than the outer edge? That's going to be for the glow alone. Most anime characters really have a strong glow to their eyes. So I'm going to do now, so I'm going to come in and draw the middle of the black portion of the iris. Now it seems that in doing this, that it's, it's a, it, it, I don't know, it just looks a little bit off. It looks a little unusual. The truth of it is, you know, anime is a little unusual. It's its own distinct style. It's definitely unique, and it's one of a kind. I mean, all across the world, uh, it's, you know, clearly, like, established itself as being its own unique style. Now from here, you can come in and draw this girl's eyebrows like that. And this is really supposed to be sort of like her outer eye and lashes. You can come in here and you can give her lashes if you want. It's not necessary. I mean, you've already firmly established that's her uh, eyes right there. Then, to really make it kind of anime, you're going to give her just the tiniest nose possible. You probably won't even be able to hardly see that, so I'll just do it a little bit bigger. Tiny, tiny little nose right there, just to kind of sell uh, the look of it. And then, you know, just top it off by giving her a little bit of mouth there. And that is really the standard. I mean, they draw almost all the attention in to a character's eyes. They don't do a lot of detail to the face. They don't give a lot of detail to any other part of the face other than the eyes. And they save the rest of it, obviously, for when they draw the hair. Because the hair is huge. It's the second most uh, clear-cut feature on any anime character's face. Now, moving over to the guy's eyes, it's slightly different. I would say it's a little bit a um, uh, little bit more masculine, which obviously would make sense since it's a guy's eyes. We're going to come in here, we're going to give this guy kind of a wide-eyed expression, but there really is no one clear way to draw a guy's eyes as opposed to drawing a girl's eyes. Like, I think that it's, um, you know, you can definitely tell it's the same style, but it's a little bit different of an approach. We're still going to give him the, the, the um, reflection, the white little glow, but we're going to make this guy just a little bit different. Like you can already start to see some of the differences. Um, they're not as um, oval shaped, they're not as cutesy. I'm not gonna give him lashes or anything. I'm gonna give him some thicker eyebrows. We can clearly see the differences. Thick eyebrows are definitely more of a masculine trait. And the other big thing is we're gonna give him a clear cut defined nose, which we did not do for our girl. And uh, that's definitely more of a masculine trait as well big smile and then if we were gonna go in we'd give this guy some uh, clear-cut you know hair or something but you see what I'm saying like this is essentially the best approach whenever you're sitting down to draw anime style faces start with the eyes because those are by far the most important and then move on into the hair that is the second most important feature